Hey friends, it's Cody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all kinds of well, as always. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I am bringing you a fairy loot unboxing, and this is my first unboxing of any book subscription box. And I was very kindly asked by Fairy Loot to be a rep for them. So thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending this my way. This is the box for April and the theme is Dark Magic. But before we go ahead and open this bad boy and see what's inside, I should let you know that as a rep, thank you again Fairy Loot, you can get 5% off your first box if you use the code CODY5. Okay, so when we open it up, Pretty, I've lost the spoiler cut. <laughs> this artwork is absolutely beautiful, but I won't look at this just yet. I'll pop that to the side. And the first thing I see is this little box. Oh my God, it's a Mr. Kindly tea strainer. What? If you didn't already know, Mr. Kindly is a character from the Nevernight series, which is one of my favorite book series ever. And this is the most adorable thing ever. It's just like a rubber black cat, which you can open in the middle and put your tea in and then you pop his head back on and he sits in your tea. That is so adorable. I love this so much. I drink a lot of tea, I love cats. I do have loose leaf tea, but I don't drink it as often, so this is an incentive to do that. Oh my God, adorable. Okay, I love this so far. Ooh, and next we have the Philosopher's Stone. Is this a soap? This could be a soap. And this is what it looks like out of the packet. Legit looks like the Philosopher's Stone. This is adorable. It smells good. I'm not good with scent, so I don't know what the scent is. <laughs> so this is obviously inspired by Harry Potter and it was made by Pretty Suds. This is so cool. Ooh, and the next thing we have in here is a pin. I don't actually own any bookish inspired pins, so this is cool. And this says Emberfall on it and there's a castle. I will do a better close-up of this for you. And this is inspired by A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which I have read, so I recognize this. That's good. <laughs> I have read A Curse of Dark and Lonely. I didn't love it as much as most people, I think, but I was ill, I was sick when I read it. So I was kind of grumpy, so that was probably why. But I am very excited to carry on in this series. Like, I think it's gonna get so good. And this is absolutely beautiful. And this one was designed by the Literary Emporium. Very nice. And the next thing we have is this little notebook, which is adorable and it's super holographic. And there's a quote on here, it says, we are all children of blood and bone, all instruments of vengeance and virtue by Tomi Adeyemi. So a children of bone inspired artwork on here. This is very cute and glittery and I'm a sucker for glitter. Honestly, I'm a magpie, so I really like this. I'm always in need of more notebooks, honestly. And this one was designed by Stella Bookish Art. Okay, and the next thing in here is something fabric. There's purple purple bits of paper going everywhere. The cats are gonna love that. And oh, I think it's a tote bag. Yes, it's a tote bag. I need a tote bag, guys. My current tote bags have seen better days. So this, oh, this is beautiful too. So we have a quote on one side, which says the problem with wanting is that it makes you weak. Liba Dugo. So I'm assuming this is Grishaverse, Six of Crows inspired. Oh, we have a dude on the back. <laughs> Yep, that's legit, that's the Darkling, right? This must be a Darkling quote, and it's Grisha Trilogy inspired. This is stunning. I'm not a massive Darkling stan or anything, but I do really like the Grisha Trilogy. I was one of those that didn't mind it too much. Yeah, it's not the best of her work, but I love like the world building, you know, and I obviously love the Six of Crows <laughs> duology and King of Scars, so this is just right on brand for me and I think this is absolutely beautiful too. And this one features art by Morgana Awanagrom. <laughs> I've probably pronounced that completely wrong. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Ooh, this next one. Guys, it's a book sleeve y'all and it's Darker Shades of Magic inspired. Are you kidding me? So this must be Lila and Kel on the front and then on the back we have the For London design. This is so freaking cool. I don't own a book sleeve. This is my first book sleeve and it's huge as well so it could fit like a hardback. Yes! This is awesome. This means that when I go out to the coffee shops and do my little charity shop hauls that I usually do, I can take a book with me and it won't get trashed in my handbag. Yes, I've been in need of one of these. This is really thick as well and squishy, if that helps. And this was designed by Mono Lime Art. I love this. I love this. This could be my favourite thing. Actually, the Mr. Kindly tea strainer is really cute, but this, how gorgeous is this? 
And then we have some tarot cards. I know that Fairy Loot has tarot cards like every month, I think. This is my first one. But the ones I've seen in the past, they seem to include these. So these are Six of Crows characters. We have The Lovers, which shows Nina, who is my fave. And then we have Matthias as the Tower. And they're just absolutely beautiful. They're just purple on the back. So cute. And these are by Art by Emmy Lynn. Stunning. And the next thing in here is just a little promo card for We Set the Dark on Fire. And the last thing in here is the book, which comes in one of these little fairy loot cases, which are just so cute. Ooh, immediately, blue sprayed edges. I fully don't expect to know what this book is because I'm the worst at keeping up with new releases, but I'm excited nonetheless. <laughs> Yep, I've not heard of it, but it's a beautiful cover. This is Nocturna by Maya Montaigne. I think, I hope that's how you pronounce it. I will check that pronunciation before I come to read this one, but on the front it does say, a faceless thief, a desperate prince, a darkness unleashed. Oh, that sounds intriguing. So this is what it looks like naked. Oh, and it's signed by the author. This is the first book I own, I think. This, I think this is the first book I've ever owned that's been signed by the author, so that's amazing. So it says, to Finian Foy, magic is two things, a knife to hold under the throat of anyone who crosses her, and a disguise she shrugs on as easily as others pull on cloaks. As a talented face shifter, it's been years since Finn has seen her own face, and that's exactly how she likes it. Intrigued. But when she gets caught by a powerful mobster, she's forced into an impossible mission. Steal a legendary treasure from Castellan's royal palace or be stripped of her magic forever. Yes, we have a heist. I love heists in books, you know, thieves. Anything in that realm, really? It continues. To Prince Alphir, magic is an escape, but one that comes with a price. First in line for the throne after the disappearance of his older brother, Alfie is desperate to find him and bring him home, even if it means dabbling in forbidden magic. And when Finn and Alfie's fates collide, they realise magic can be other things too, and the type they accidentally release into the world is something neither of them expects or understands. It's hungry. Okay, yes, dark magic vibes. This sounds amazing. I have to get to this one soon. This is probably going to be on next month's TBR, y'all, because I'm excited. We have a prince, forbidden magic, and a woman who's a thief, but also a face shifter? Yes, count me in. I want to read this. And included with it is some artwork of our main characters, Alfie and Finn. This is stunning as well. And we have a note from the author on the back. And included with that as well, we have the Fairy Loot bookmark, which has the design from the spoiler card on it, which is stunning. And then we have the Fairy Loot little leaflet that comes with this. Oh, we have a different cover. We have an exclusive blue cover. The original is more of a orangey red. I must say I prefer the blue one. It's super pretty. And next month's theme is unlikely romances and we can expect items inspired by A Daughter of Smoke and Bone, The Cruel Prince, Girls of Paper and Fire, A Court of Thorns and Roses. That's going to be exciting. And the book that will be included will have sprayed edges and be signed by the author as well. So that's everything that's included in the April Fairy Loot box. Favourite items? I'm gonna say the book, honestly. Like, this sounds so good, and I've not heard anyone talk about this yet, so I wanna read this, like, as soon as possible. Also, I love this book sleeve, y'all. This is just the most beautiful thing ever, and I will get a lot of use out of this. But I wouldn't be the crazy cat lady that I am if I didn't say that this is possibly my favourite item, honestly. This is just adorable. So that's the April Fairy Loot, guys. Look, he literally just, just sits. Like, how cute. <laughs> Do let me know what your favourite item in this month's box was. And also, if you would like to check Fairy Loot out yourself, don't forget to use my discount code, which is Cody5, for 5% off your first month's box. So I hope you enjoyed that video, I certainly did, and I hope you're having a great day. Please like and subscribe if you care to do so, as always, and I will catch you in my next one, my dudes. Bye!